to Cindy's Craft Desk. I'm Cindy and today we're going to make a Melted Crayon Earth Sun Catcher. I know I'm super excited. So for this craft you are going to need some wax paper which is this here two pieces. Also a picture of the earth. Now I just got this template from Clip Art Online and I just printed it off and you will also need some crayons. And for this craft, because I'm making the earth, I really only needed the greens and the blues. But if you're making another type of planet, say Mercury, you could use browns and yellows or Saturn. You could do red rings, blues and red. So, you also need some scissors, a glue stick, and two pieces of black paper that you're going to cut a circle in that will match your earth circle. All right, you're also gonna need an iron. So that's what this is here. Um, this craft does take an iron, so don't forget to ask permission from an adult or get an adult to iron this for you. So I'm just gonna move that out of the way. And so to shave your crayons, you do need to have a crayon sharpener, pencil sharpener. And this one was good because it had two holes. I used the larger of the two. Now that was the messiest part of this craft, I think. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So you're going to put your earth template down first, and then you're going to cover it with a piece of your wax paper. I'm just gonna put the second piece over here on top. And now you are gonna fill in your earth with your crayons. So here I go. And now it's time for the blue. So now you're going to put your second sheet on top, your second sheet of waxed paper, and I'm going to cover it with an old towel. Now, if you have an ironing board, you can do this right on the ironing board, but you just want to make sure that things won't squeeze out onto your ironing board. So here I go. Let's see how it's doing. Ooh. See, that's what I mean when you need to be careful on an ironing board. Mom may not be so excited about having crayon on her ironing board going to cut out two circles into my black paper. And yeah, I need to fix my black circle because it doesn't, it looks like a pumpkin. Ooh, that would be kind of a fun craft to do for the fall is you could make a pumpkin. All right, I'm almost there. Just need a little bit of this. That's better. All right. Ooh, yeah, look at that. It's perfect. Ooh, I even have the Antarctic down at the bottom. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to cut out the second piece because you want to sandwich your beautiful crayon art in between 
between the two pieces of black paper. It's kind of like a frame. Perfect. Look at that. We're just going to move the template out of the way. I'm going to get out my glue stick. So I'm just going to glue around the circle so I can stick my sun catcher inside. All right. Here I go. And we're going to trim it after we are done. There we go. Okay, make sure that's stuck down well. And I'm going to glue this side to stick on the top. And that down so it matches up with the bottom piece and press it down so it glues and sticks and now I'm just going to trim the extra bits of wax paper out of the way and again whoops knocked over something I am going to really put some glue on here so it's going to stick extra well and there we go stick that down now you also want to make sure that your planet is cool enough after you iron it to stick your pages on. And then, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but I'm using a lot of glue this time. Just using the glue. Alright, and now I'm going to make sure it sort of lines up with the bottom piece and there is our planet Earth. Oh, it's beautiful. And then when you hang it up against a window, the sun can shine through it and it'll show the blue and the green. I think I have it upside down because I think this is my North America and this is my South America. I think I have it inside out. <laughs> there we go. All right, everybody. I hope yours turned out well. I would love to see if you want to post some pictures down in the comments. I would love to see it. Thanks.